Good afternoon. You were going to say good afternoon? I was, but he stole the thunder, but that's okay. Ah, <laughs> uh, darn it. Well, good afternoon. Welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to another media. And we're starting the media today with a Starbucks drink. Something we found on TikTok. Yeah. So you want to tell them what it is because I can't so explain it. it. <laughs> it is a brown sugar shaken espresso with an extra shot of brown sugar syrup and pumpkin cream foam. Did I say that right? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> foam. You said it right. <laughs> so that's awesome. It, it looks good. We just we kind of messed up in not getting a straw. Right because we wanted to you know mix the coffee and stuff but that's okay because once we drink it'll start mixing um exactly. together exactly so who wants to take the first sip because we we're sharing <laughs> not tried it we wanted to wait for you guys to to try it so um i think you should you should do it first since I you're the one who, who who found it so when we first got the drink we're like this is not it there there's just no way and i asked the guy i'm like wait does it have the pumpkin foam he's like Oh! <laughs> I forgot, which is what happens sometimes, it. I think, if you don't know. Yeah. No, because it is, it's not something that's on the menu. You you have, to, it's like a custom-made drink. He actually had already made the pumpkin foam, but he forgot about it. Right. So, thankfully, we remembered to, you know, look at it before. Let's go and try it. Let's, let's so see what's up. We're going to take the first sip. You, because you found it, so. Okay. Let's see. Aced it was foam, I think. No. No? Oh my goodness. I don't think this is ever a reaction I have. <laughs> I know. Usually you're like, this is not it. This is not like what I'm trying to. Good. No, you don't have the same wow. reaction I had. No, no. It's very sweet, which I like. <gasps> wow, it that's really so good. It is so good. I might get my own actually. Here's the thing. So we got one, right? Because I'm like, let's share it. Oh, let's share it. But it is very good. Uh, can you, you just? <laughs> she had a little accident. I have no napkins in here. Welcome back to our channel. Refreshing what just happened. Finally, we got some napkins. Napkins in a straw. Horrible. So yeah, so you're gonna mix it with the straw, right? Yeah. Now I'll mix it. See how it tastes. Guys, I, once you mix honestly, it. Honestly, I think this is the best drink I've ever had from Starbucks. I, maybe I'm exaggerating a bit, but it's so damn good. Look at this. Oh. It's good. It's just so good. It tastes better when you have the foam yeah. and everything in it, but it still tastes so good. It still tastes really good, actually. Do, well, you, would, do you like it better separately or together? No, I think I no, I, I like it, I like it better together because you're getting a little bit of both. Mm -hmm. Because you still taste like the brown sugar but the pumpkin kicks in yeah. so i i like it i mean that you guys can try it thing. we'll leave it on the description exactly what it is right like every like what like it's what you need to like a brown sugar order. shaken espresso with a pump with pumpkin cold foam right and extra brown sugar oh and she also said that people also order which we might try next time it's a brown sugar sh shaken espresso with Oh, the other foam on it. Can, oh, no, cold brew. No, cold, no, cold, cold foam. Cold foam, yeah. But what I saw that cold one. Cold foam or ch something, something. I don't know. I don't know. I don't remember what flavor cold foam it was. I'm going to look at it online to see. Mm -hmm. But um, she says it a lot. Or I'm going to look like through TikTok and see what other people order. But she thought that we were going to order that because I originally went up to her. Right. And I was like, oh, I'm, I'm going to order something we saw on TikTok. She's like, oh, let me guess. <laughs> right. So she also gave us that suggestion as well. Okay, well, yeah. maybe we can look it up and see what it is. Never too late for Chick-fil-A. Why do you always have to, like, sing it? Like, we we'll go to Tar... Tarjay. 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 Because... <laughs> life is too boring without music. We're in the car. So, getting some Chick-fil-A. 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 Just want to show you guys the skeleton that we got today at Target so we could hang in on the patio pretty nice so we're gonna hang it up tomorrow it was $20 a postable skeleton $20 how much was the Frenchie it was a uh, $15 right okay well 
For five dollars more, you could have gotten a big skeleton. Well, we got both of them, so. Good morning, Mac and Media family. It is the next day. So we didn't film Target, but we did do a TikTok on our shopping night. And we spent a hundred dollars, I think, which is not bad compared to like other nights that we've gone. But we didn't really get much. All we got was just like food. We ended up doing was that we, we bought some a lot of food actually and then the skeleton that I just food? showed you. Yeah, we just we pretty much just bought food. No, we didn't. No, we didn't. We only got stuff to make spaghetti and chicken nuggets. <laughs> That's a lot of food to me. What else did we get then? How did we spend a hundred dollars? We got a skeleton, the skeleton, which I showed was you guys. Twenty dollars. I got a shirt. Um. That's pretty much trash it. Trash bags. Uh, paper plates. Hundred bucks right there. And food. And food. And yeah. food. Yeah. So um, we're gonna hang this skeleton today, and then uh, see what. What we're gonna do today? You're gonna go do your nails now at 10:30. Mm -hmm. So, all right. So Ashley wanted to, uh, you know, we're gonna show you guys our matching cups. Mine says, "I melt for no one." And mine says, "Want a piece of me?" We got them at Disney Springs. I think they were on sale. I think mm -hmm. they were like two for like eighteen dollars something yes. like that. Good. That was a at good. At the M&M store. At the M&M store. Yep. And Disney. We Springs. were able to hang it up there, and it was a mission because he kept turning to the right. So he kept facing like that way. But I think he looks good there. From this angle, he looks pretty good. And yeah, Pumpkin Lord right now, it's down. We don't have that up. But now he gets to join the Frenchie. I think he looks good. I still think maybe we should get some like more skeletons to put him like on the actual patio. I think that would be a good idea. But overall, he looks chillin'. Dropping you off at the nail salon. Have a good one. Enjoy. All right, so I'm home. We just dropped off Ashley to go get her nails done. I'm going to clean the house. I'm going to take advantage that I'm going to be home. I'm just going to, you know, get ahead of some chores that we need to do. All right, so Ashley is back. She did her nails. Want to show them your nails? Can you see them? Wait, it's focusing on my face. There you go. Is it focusing? Yeah. Okay. So what's the whole story behind them? It's cows in Halloween? No, it's fall. Oh, okay. They're like fall nails, but they're supposed to be like cow print. I don't know. Oh, I just saw go. it on Pinterest. I thought it was cute. No, no, no. They look different. Okay. How? But they, they look good. How different? They look good. I'm just saying they look different from like what you showed me though. Really? Unless I'm going crazy and I just don't remember what it was. So this is the picture I showed my nail tech, which I mean, granted, She's not going to get it 100%, right, but I no, think no, no. that it she good. did. It looks good. It looks good. It's just me being dumb. Yeah, a good job. Yeah. So we're going to go see if we can eat at Taco Craft now. We're going to check the wait time. So hopefully it's not too packed that we can eat because we're hungry. So and it's been raining all day. So hopefully the rain keeps the people away. All right, so we made it to Taco Craft. Let's go ahead and see what the wait time is. All right, so we just finished eating at Taco Craft, and uh, it was okay. I mean, good. it was good. I liked the appetizer. The appetizer was the crispy rock shrimp, which is mango salsa, pickled jalapenos, and tossed in spicy mayo, which wasn't really wasn't spicy, spicy for me. I mean, I didn't really feel the spiciness. You know, I don't like spicy food, so I didn't really feel it. Um, it was okay. Um, I really liked the shrimps. The shrimps, the shrimps were really good. Like, I give that a 10 out of 10. And, like, I've had... Um, What's it called? Those like bang bang shrimps from uh, Bonefish Grill. Those are good. And those were good, but these were better. I like these better. I got the fajitas, the skirt steak fajitas. They were okay. Now, <clears throat> I didn't like the steak because, first of all, the steak was really rough to bite on. It was chewy. Um, yeah, and I didn't really like that. But I like the fried cheese because it did come with fried cheese. Let me tell you guys what it came with. It came with fried cheese, uh, pico de gallo guac rice and beans am i missing anything else no that's it so, and obviously you're like the onions peppers and all that stuff right. but it was it was everything else was good i just didn't like the steak that it was like really hard to like chew on and stuff like that but it, other than that it was good um i would i wouldn't get that again though i would probably try something different i got the carne asada tacos and the 
Okay, so for when it comes to the tacos, they have a list of tacos that you can get individually which is what I did, or you can get three different tacos or the same tacos, however you'd like, um, with rice and beans for like $20, something like that. But I just decided to get two tacos individually, so I got the, the Baja fish taco, and I got the carne asada tacos, and they were good. Um, I definitely liked the carne asada taco more than I liked um, the Baja shrimp one. I don't know, the fish was a little weird to me. And I, don't, okay. I guess maybe I don't even like fish tacos. But I, I wanted to try something new. Um, but the carne asada was good. But I ha I do have the same complaint regarding the meat. I feel like the meat is very chewy in that sense. Like right. it's hard to eat, and they, sometimes you just want to bite off a piece rather than eat the whole thing at the same time. You Which know, is what, ha what was happening to me. Right, and so. mine was chopped up little, but even then, I feel like I had to eat the whole piece of meat rather right. than you know. So but softer the meat. The flavor was good. Right. Yeah. Softer meat. Uh, if we want to give. That's our only recommendation. A, a rec. A rec. Recommendation. Exactly. Yeah. Just softer meat, but everything else was good. You had that drink. What was that oh, drink? Oh, I had a guava mama, Bacardi, Saint Germain, which I'm not sure. I don't think I've ever had no Saint idea. Germain. Fresh um, lime juice and guava puree. It was really good. It was, it was good. I tried really it. Really good. And one thing I will say, I can't speak for all taco craft. Um, but one thing I will say is that the taco craft bartenders here in Plantation, they're really good in the sense that like they, they put alcohol in your drinks. Because you know how sometimes you get a drink, it's not too like... You um, feel like there's no alcohol in Yeah, there. you feel like there's no alcohol. This one, you will definitely feel the alcohol. <laughs> <laughs> it had a lot more than my liking because I am not a heavy drinker. or right. like I don't really like... I prefer beer rather than alcohol. Not alcohol, I'm sorry. The yeah, liquor. Liquor. I prefer beer rather than liquor, but um it was good. It was really good. The guava puree was it tasted really, really good. I liked it. It was pretty yeah. fruity. Uh you could taste the alcohol, but again it blends in. With it the blends in well. Right. So there were good. times that I'm like, whoa, like this is too strong. I don't know. But the last time because this is my second time coming here, right? Um, the first time I came with some co-workers, which is why Fernando didn't come, but this time I, I you know, I wanted to bring him. Not a co-worker? <laughs> wow. Um. But you liked it last time. I did like it the last time. The last time I had a watermelon margarita that was really good, but the same thing. Like, it was, it's too strong for me, you know? Right. But other people love it because they, you know, you want to get basically like your money's worth when it comes to the alcohol because... Each drink is like fourteen to twelve dollars, like twelve yeah. to fourteen dollars range around there. Um, I did want to say they do have Tuesdays. They have um, Taco Tuesdays. Um, you took a picture of it. Yeah, so they had specials, which was great. Uh, Taco Tuesdays. They have four dollar tacos, five dollar bottled beers, and eight dollar classic margaritas. That's good. And then happy hours Monday through Friday from three to seven, except Tuesdays. Exclude Tuesdays, yes. And from 10 to close, which is from 10 to 11. So from 3 um, to 7 and from 10 to close. Right. So beers, uh, draft beers and wines are 5 bucks, And then $50 off all tequila, $6 selected spirits, and then $8 selected margaritas. So it's not bad. It's not bad. You might want to come during those hours we so you can, can do, get your... Yeah. Right. Taco we should Tuesday. do that one day. So, But now we're going to go and be unhealthy and get gelato. So we have a gelato place. We're, we're trying to find some another one, right? We're trying to see if we we'll can get just another go, one. We'll, we'll just, just go to that one. So there's a gelato in... find anything else. It's called Gelato and Co. for Lauderdale. It's in Las, uh, Las Olas. So we're going to go and we're going to see what they have and what we're getting. So let's go. So three hours later. Was it three hours? Yeah, pretty much three hours later. So we were going to go eat at Las Olas. Then we went. It was too crowded. Not eat. We're gonna have gelato. We're right. Have eat gelato. Yeah. You didn't say that. I said eat. Right, and we had already ate. It. <sighs> Anyways. <laughs> so yeah. So we couldn't find a. Well, first of all, we couldn't find a place, and then second of all, we couldn't like park anywhere. So we decided to go to Sawgrass. Then in Sawgrass, we couldn't find the gelato place, and Ashley over here. I found it. Was it hard? Is that I knew I wasn't going crazy. Like, I felt like I had seen it before, but then we didn't know if they had taken it out or what, you know, what the case may be. Right. But we ended up finally finding it. So, if Thank you want to eat a lotto in Sawgrass Mall, it is by the Lego store, also by Bath and Body Works. 
I'm not sure if there's two Bath and Body Works still. There is. So if there's two, then the it's the one Bath next and to Body Works next to Lego. <laughs> it was really good. For two, um, for, for we forgot to record it, honestly. But for two, I got a caramel and you got cookies and cream. I got cookies and cream. We got the but small But the cookies cup. and cream was so good because it has caramel in it. <clears throat> right. That's what I really wanted. And Mine just so had good. caramel. $21 for gelato. So, it's a little exp more expensive, but what's good about gelato is that it's really creamy. And I think that's what I like, that it's creamier than, like, regular ice cream. Mm -hmm. but, so, overall, that was our day from yesterday till today. So, now we're just going to chill. It's starting to rain. It's going to be bad weather for, yeah. for a while. So, overall, we had a good time. Uh, speaking about the Starbucks drink, though. I think we're going to get that like soon again because Ashley fell in love with that drink. So we'll, we'll go ahead and put it just so you get, just in case you guys don't know when you get there or you forget, you guys can go back to the video and then you can see it on the description. Blue! Hey, buddy! You want to say hi? There we go. He's made his appearance today. All right, guys. Thank you so much for watching today's video. We wish you guys can stay, but it's time for you to go. Bye!